we open a uh, meta shape add this up okay this is the um, you know the, the screen when we open the program uh, first thing to do is to go to workflow and add photos so we add the photos the picture that we uh, have taken with the drone in this case our DNG uh, picture I will not use all the picture just just a few just to show you how it works so I will show you a line of picture from uh, let's say to 51 to okay let's say 64 like this open it's okay, so another program is loading the picture <clears throat> will take a while okay so if you click inside the picture you can you can visualize the picture here okay like this okay so the first thing to do is to align those picture we can uh, go again to workflow and use the align photos uh, command to align the picture we can use uh, because we, don't, we are not using now reference you can use the uh, generic press selection uh, the best thing is use you know the uh, highest is uh, a bit it's very slow if we use uh, I think high or medium mm, it, mm, is okay so we try with I and we press OK here in advance uh, those are the point limit it's okay 40,000 and time point limit okay we just click ok and we wait hundred percent okay so now here we we have a model you know like a first model that was uh, built uh, not using uh, so many points but uh, is it in enough points taken uh, from the drone cameras uh, geolocation you know information that were contained into the DNG file so here we can see we have uh, 14 uh, photo that were aligned okay and the points that were uh, created during this process now we can change here uh, between workspace and reference if we go in reference uh, we see uh, you know all the the picture and uh, that uh, we are using okay now uh, we can convert uh, because I've to in, introduce to insert a few market point that were taken in a different coordinate system at the moment we are using this one okay click in here you can see what the coordinate system that we are using but I don't want to use uh, this one I want to use uh, uh, this uh, coordinate system the uh, WGS 84 UTM zone 40 south okay so we select this here and uh, um, I'm sorry so, uh, like this before we select all these and we convert them using this comment here into this one just the cameras okay convert okay now everything is converted so now we can select uh, now uh, as you can see here uh, we are in the right coordinate system okay now I have a few control point uh, that I want I want to use and uh, uh, so um, I'll show you uh, uh, the points that uh, 
were taken just just zoom control extend so with zoom so now i'm gonna uh, load just a portion of map that is included between these two uh, target point okay so uh, i'm going to use these coordinates i'm going to to copy this uh, in edges up and to do this for example we can do like this like uh, uh, id uh, we just select this point k okay so we have all the detail here and we just copy this for example like this if we don't have a file of course and we go back here and uh, here what we do is add marker okay uh, and we call we put like for example here it was nothing we paste and uh, we go back and we copy the other one here like this and we go back to edge so this thing we click two times and we paste and we do the same from here and after that we change the name to i don't know like k uh, st or k k point okay so in my case i already um i already have uh, those points in a file that i'm going to import to do this um, I'm going to um, use this one import market here that's much easier and I'm gonna use this two mark okay so they were imported into my file so we have the uh, longitude latitude altitude um, one second one second this change again we are going to use the this this like this okay this easting norting this way okay so now uh we need to assign those marker in the um into the picture okay so what we are gonna do is just click two time inside the picture and we can with this can hide you know all the points we look for the uh, markers okay in this case I know that this this marker is uh, the K point so to place the marker I go place marker place K so it's gonna to the projection is going to be considered here so we do the same with all picture because as you can see it's not aligned with the marker so we do um, place market K okay. um, now it's a bit better so we can just move it a bit and as you can see uh, there is a green flag is saying that we have manually adjusted the marker to the, to the photo okay like in this way so we need to do this every picture here yeah, there is not but we have this one that actually is going to be another point it's here so this is m this is um and um, 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 like this we have these two pictures without any marker at all okay there are no marker here so now that we have done this we need to uh to use you know uh, to 
realign a bit all this picture according to the marker so what we do we select everything here and we deselect all the photos but we keep the marker selected so after uh, that we have done this we go to this icon optimize camera and we click here and we just leave everything like this and we click uh, OK or we can also well, just we leave like this okay or we can select everything if we want and just click OK so now program is optimizing the camera location according to the to the markers that we placed okay so it should be good like this so we have a marker here and a marker there now that we have done this um, we can <clears throat> start creating a dance cloud that we, we will use to uh, create uh, a mesh a dam and a texture okay so 